Hi, welcome to Wise Guys. Shortcut buttons. In scientific calculator, there are several shortcut buttons which is uh, very useful and very convenient. Okay, let me show you first button is first button we can say this button x square button okay say shortcut button first one say this one x square normally if you uh, perform a square of number normally you do 40, say 45 square is it 45 square you go to 45 square right this one so equals 20 25 and this is not difficult but but if you use this button is it 45 just hit the x square button it just do square for you got this number All right and also you can do the top is this button and another one is shift x square which you're working on the top is x cube so if you want to do let's say 5 shift this one this is x cube this is x cube you when you hit the shift that means working with the the top brown number. The color is brown. So cube equals 125, right? <coughs> and also like a big number or yeah, all working. The other one is uh, the second button is X minus one button. X minus one button, which is here. See this button. X minus one. That means reciprocal. So this button, for example, you 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 find uh, one fifth. Say five. Hit this button is five to the negative one. You got zero point two. Yeah. But mostly like this question, uh, this button is really working I found is when you uh, calculate for now calculate the reciprocal for example you calculate uh, one formula is find the total resistance in circuits because if two uh, resistance to the parallel you're looking for the total resistance 1 over r total equal 1 over r1 per 1 over r2 if given and say given is r1 equals 50 ohms and r2 equals 15 ohms and we're looking for the total so normally if you're using calculator you need to do 1 divided 50 right you do 1 divided 50 do this one the 1 divided 50 then plus 1 divided by 15 and equal right after this one then some students need to erase it then do 1 over then 1 divided actually this is the answer equals 11 and yeah, you got our total equals 11 point five ohms. It takes one step, two step, three step, four step. Yeah. But if you use this button, I show you very easy. You just do one over R1 is fifty, R1 is fifty, you put the fifty, you hit this button. Right? Which is reciprocal one divide. Plus fifteen this button right and equal and because after this uh, and you have one over this one again you hit this one again you got 
same thing 11.5 and very fast right so again you just do 50 reciprocal plus 15 reciprocal and equals and reciprocal again you got 11.5 very convenient the third button is exp button this is exponent because when you perform some scientific notation for example you have 3 times 10 to the 9 exponent this one then you multiply another one 5 times 10 to the exponent 6 exponent if, if you have this right then you got this one 1.5 times 10 to the 16 exponent. For example, you perform 3 times 10 to the 9, multiply 5 to the 10 to the 6 exponent. Yeah, you got 1.5 times 10 to the 16 exponent if you using this button, right? But now we use EXP button, make much faster. Okay, 3, you enter 3, hit this button, you put the 9. That means 3 times, this means 3 times 10 to the 9. So you do 3 exponent 9. That's why this is a 3 times 10 to the 9. And multiply 5, 5 exponent 6. And it equals, it gave you 1.5 times 10 to the 16 exponent. So this is the exponent button. And if using this button, uh, it's not only easy, but also no more mistakes. Yeah, no more mistakes. Because if you're using the other way, using times, this one is sometimes easier to make mistake. The third button. The next I show you the other shortcut shortcut button which is on the bottom is four is this is the answer but at the top is the shift which is D R G button. They have small arrow. Yeah. So this is using shift And the answer, yeah, then working with this one. The shift answer working with DRG. DRG is D is degree, R is radians, and the G is. It's great, but we we not use uh, this one often, but uh, mostly a degree and readings. The reason is when you're working with readings, you need uh, mostly, you not use shot pot, cut button, you go to mode, 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 you go to readings, right? You set the two, then working with readings. And then later, and you're working with degree, <coughs> you because you done, you forget reset and still have readings here and then working with degree they have trouble right <coughs> so that's why this situation if you you want to working with readings uh temporary is sometimes you just have one question two question working the readings you don't need to change it to the mode to readings mode instead you still keep you need to reset second you need to reset back to degree mode you still keep degree mode but temporary you you working with readings how you do this for example you do uh, you want to do sine 60 degree sine 60 degree 
equal this one, 760 degree we know is 0 0.866, right? But now you're given the information, not the degree, but you're given sine is pi over 3. Is this pi over 3. Then how to perform this one? So let's say you have sine, you go to sine bracket pi divided by 3. But this is a degree mode, but you want to perform radians mode. So you just go to shift answer, which is DRG. You put 2. Now I want to put 2. Then the small r, uh, small r, small symbol on the top mean this is a not degree because the mode is degree, but now I temporarily working with radians. Then you give you, see, still give you 0 0.866. Now I show you under degree mode how to perform readings job using shift and so button. The other one I want to show you the shortcut is for perform big number, huge number, or really really small number. What is a huge number? For example, uh, we we perform billing or trailing, you don't need to put so many zero or you, even you don't need to end using scientific notation. There's some button here on the bottom here. So this one is uh, button is seven, seven corner is M, which is million. The eight and the corner is G, which is billing. And the nine on the top, this one is trailing. And the other one on the bottom is four, is mu is micro, which is small number. Five on the top is m, is milli. Milli is not million. Milli. K is kilo. And the bottom. The other bottom is, you have this one is F, is FEMO, this is the 1, 2 is P, is PICO, 3, NANO, 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 6 here. So using SHIFT, And the seven, this is a million. For example, you have one million, you say one shift, this one, one M, they show you one M, and equal sign is one million, six zero. For example, you want to perform uh, one billion, is one. One billion nine zeros and the one have twelve zeros one times ten to the twelve zeros. This is twelve zeros. Right? So when you perform some calculation for example, uh, when you perform for example you perform this one you say uh, 8.99 times 10 to the 9 exponent multiply with 2 times 10 to the 6 96 multiply 3 times 10 to the negative 6 divided by 0 0.02 square this is a coolant law if one charge is 2 microcoolant the other 3 microcoolant they have two centimeter apart looking for the force between these two charge so you have this formula when you perform this formula for example the F is the force you just need to perform this for this formula you don't need to use this button even exponent button 
it uses the shortcut button. So we can do this way. First of 8.99, you have 8.99 is 9 exponent is Billy. So you hit this button, you put shift, this one, you put a G after 8.99, means this is the 9 exponent, right? And Billy. And then multiply 2 micro 2 times 10 to the negative 6 and multiply 2 micro is shift 4 on the top and then multiply 3 shift so the labor 2 micro colon 3 micro colon and this one and then equal and then divided by 0 0.02 0 0.02 you this x square button here see they give you very fast get the f equals 134.85 right this is newton yeah so those shortcut is really convenient to perform the big number the huge number with high exponent or small number with negative exponent button. This is presented by wise guys. Thank you.